Fish in the back of her head. No, don't grab it though. I guess you can. And then no. Roll it inside out. You know that. And then it's stuck to touch her. That's what all. There you go. Okay, now. You can grab her suit. Since you guys are extracting, you're not gonna. You're gonna go from the inside. You know how many contaminated gloves on. Yeah, you're gonna roll, roll it out over her shoulders. So of course, take the cap off. Okay. Now you're gonna. You know, we're like, uh, okay. I didn't think it would be that easy, but yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah. Okay, and that. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to spin around. She's going to undo your boots. Okay, now you're going to spin back around. Should have stepped on the heel of her, her boot like that. No, I just my finisher is stuck in there. I just pull off the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just trying to get the other one. My name is uh, Mass Sergeant Jason Russell. I'm from the 104th Fighter Wing Medical Group. Um, been with the Surf P for about five years, and from the beginning, the inception of the Surf P in Massachusetts. And what did you role in the Surf P? I'm the uh, NCYC of the medical section. And can you um, elaborate a little bit more on um, how you're, you're overseeing this, uh, this exercise? My my primary duty is to ensure that we have staffing in the right position, that our work rest cycles have been met by pulling our uh, staff in and out as needed during due to the weather conditions. Uh, make sure that we have the basics, food, water, um, the safety of our members as well as um, the patients that are coming through. And, and how, how, how important is this exercise uh, for, you know, for the surf itself? For the surf, you mean, uh, you're, you're practicing for a real world. Well, being September 11th, we're, that's what we're actually practicing for in the event of another you know, disaster like on September 11th, or if it was a hurricane, natural disaster, or even a chemical, a chemical plant fire or whatever. We, we train to support the civilian authorities. It's not just a military mission. We're here to support everybody. Um, we'd come in and, and help out as needed. So our training today is actually really good. We have a lot of new members that are just learning, getting spun up on the material as well as it's good for the Army and the Air Force to work together because we don't get to work together that often. So it's good for us all to 
to work well with each other, understand how the, the operations work on both sides and how the Air Force side and the Army side, how we mesh and how we're going to true go into the purple aspect of uh, the military. We have a lot of members, at least in the medical side I can speak to, that that this is one of the main reasons why they stay in the mass guard. They stay here because they like this mission, because it's a true homeland mission as the guard is meant to do. Uh, we all we train for war, but war for us is better to protect our state, and that's what we enjoy doing. We're here to protect people at the homeland. Um, our attitudes, these guys are great because they love it. They they come out here, they get to they get to play with a lot of nice equipment. They get to set up in. It's not a regimented exercise. It's it's a lot of shooting from the cuff and just working as needed because the scenarios are built so that we can keep bringing them forward if need be. And that was, that was a perfect interview. Have you been interviewed before? No. And that, is there anything you'd like to add to the interview about that I haven't asked you about surgery or about? No, I'm pretty good. I'm not a very big. I don't like to add on stuff. I have no questions. You have no.